This is Bob Barr bringing you yet another edition of Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe, Law Number One, The World is Full of Idiots. Of course, please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and, of course, also follow Liberty Guard on social media. Well, we do know that the world is indeed full of idiots, and we know that you know, one of the resting places or fonts, uh, fountains for many of the idiots that we've looked at uh, come from California or somewhere else on the left coast, Seattle. I know we've had some from there in Oregon or the Northeast Coast. Uh, New York uh, is infamous for producing idiot after idiot after idiot. New York is where our Idiot of the Week comes from today, and it comes to us from Bloomberg News. Now, it's not Bloomberg News itself. Bloomberg News is the vehicle for uh, the idiot uh, who wrote an article about how to deal with inflation. The author's name is Teresa Gilarducci, and she is described in the Bloomberg article as a professor and board member of the left leftist think tank, the Economic Policy Institute. Well, she's not alone in what I'm about to relate to you here. Uh, many rich people uh, on the left, such as Bloomberg, they have all sorts of advice for us peasants, those of us that don't make millions or billions of dollars a year. And it truly is uh, to the point where it's, it's idiotic what they're saying. And this, this uh, author, Teresa Gallarducci, she has written an article in uh, Bloomberg. And she tells us peasants uh, how to deal with inflation, which right now is at a 40 year high. I think it's, it, it's moved from 8% now up to 8.5% just recently. So this uh, idiot leftist tells us that the best way to deal with inflation is not, I guess, to complain about it or do anything politically, but just sort of suck it up and one, eat more vegetables. Uh, don't, uh, it's actually hilarious the way she puts it. Uh, she says, Cut out the middle creature, that is the, the, the cow or the lamb or the pig that provides the meat, uh, and consume plants directly. In other words, become a vegetarian, I suppose, uh, because at least right now, the prices for plants, edible plants, have not increased as much as the prices for meats. Well, Of course, if anybody knew anything about basic economics and supply and demand, if everybody started to do what this author tells us to eat more plants rather than animals, that would increase the demand for plants and the prices would rise anyway. But they don't understand economics and apparently they're rich enough so that they don't have to. But one of the other interesting things that uh, that this idiot uh, tells us in Bloomberg is not only to eat more plants, eat lentils, for example. Why lentils? I don't know, but that's one of the specific things they recommend for us. But they also uh, say to get rid of your pets because pets cost money. So, quote, if you're one of the many Americans who became a new pet owner during the pandemic, you might want to rethink. So get rid of your pets, stop eating meat, eat vegetables, and just sort of suck it up because we're unfortunately, we're unfortunate in making less than what they say is the minimum to get by without worrying about inflation. That's $300,000 a year. I mean, Rich people do indeed and can indeed uh, be idiots. And we see it here in this article about uh, about how to deal with inflation if you earn less than $300,000 a year. Become a vegan, get rid of your pet, and perhaps even get rid of your car. That actually is one of the other recommendations is get rid of your car and use public transportation. Idiotic. But 
that's the world we live in. And that's, I suppose, another reason why so many people are leaving New York these days. But anyway, thank you for being with us here at Liberty Guard for today's edition of Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe, Law Number One. The world is full of idiots. And please be with us next time for our next edition. Thank you for checking out our program today. This show is made possible by Liberty Guard. I encourage you to visit libertyguard.org to learn more about our work in defense of individual liberty and against government abuse. So please support us and become a regular viewer of Bob Barr's Laws of the Universe. My name is Matt Strickland. Liberty Guard saved my family business. I spent most of my adult life fighting for my country overseas. When I came home, I became a small business owner and sadly realized that nobody would fight for me. Our state and local government were trying to shut my family business down for good. And that's when I found Liberty Guard. With Liberty Guard's help, we won the battle against government overreach. And now my business is thriving and growing faster than ever. Stand with Matt and others just like you in the fight against government overreach. Join Liberty Guard.